On July 9, 2021, the Plenary Assembly of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines, CBCP, approved two joint statements of the Iglesia Filipina Independiente, IFI, and the Roman Catholic Church, RCC. The Obispo Maximo of the IFI and his council have also approved these statements. This is part of the celebrations of the 500th year of Christianity in the Philippines. The first statement is entitled, Celebrating the Gift of Faith, Learning from the Past, and Journeying Together, a joint statement of the IFI and the RCC. This was approved earlier by the Permanent Council of the CBCP in March 2021, together with another historical statement entitled Our Ecumenical Family, a unity statement of the Christian churches in the Philippines. This was signed by the representatives of the National Council of Churches of the Philippines, NCCP, the Philippine Council of Evangelical Churches, PCEC, and the RCC. This more encompassing unity statement, which includes the IFI, was officially launched online during an ecumenical liturgical service on Pentecost Sunday, May 23, 2021. However, the joint IFI-RCC statement was withheld pending the full recovery of IFI Obispo Maximo from his illness. Henceforth, on August 3, 2021, the online official signing of the joint IFI-RCC statement will be held at the IFI National Cathedral at Taft Avenue, Manila today. This coincides with the foundation day of the IFI in 1902, a day of separation, but now a day of thanksgiving for reconciliation. The statement recalls the beginnings of the Aglipayan movement during the Philippine Revolution in 1896-98 to against Spanish colonial rule, that it was not against the Catholic Church, but rather against the continued domination of Spanish bishops and priests in the islands, and that it was a continuation of the earlier nationalist struggle of the Filipino clergy for recognition, symbolized in the Gomburza executions. In the statement, both IFI and RCC church leaders ask and pray for mutual forgiveness for any injuries inflicted in the past and strive for the healing and purification of memories among our members. They also commend ecumenical cooperation amidst diversity and encourage spiritual ecumenism through joint prayer activities. The statement notes that the IFI also strives to reach out for healing and reconciliation with other separated churches founded in the Aglipayan tradition. A companion statement to be signed on August 3 is the statement of mutual recognition of baptisms between the IFI and the RCC in the Philippines. The Trinitarian baptismal formula of the IFI is actually recognized already by the RCC in its lists of validly administered baptisms by other Christian churches. The latest updated list was issued by Bishop Jose Rojas, Chairman of the CBCP Episcopal Commission on Doctrine of the Faith, in March 2020. The Filipino ritual is the official written account of our worship life and our celebration of the sacraments, including our baptism. Our directory contains official lists of all our dioceses and parishes under our church. We give them to you as a sign and reference, respectively, of our enduring partnership. What is new in the document is the expression of mutual recognition by both churches. Thus, reinforcing the statement of the Second Vatican Council 
in its decree on ecumenism in 1964 that all who have been justified by faith in baptism are incorporated into Christ. They are accepted as brothers and sisters by the children of the Catholic Church. The Council further notes that many elements that give life to the Church can exist outside the visible boundaries of the Catholic Church. The written Word of God, the life of grace, faith, hope, and charity with the other interior gifts of the Holy Spirit. We receive our right to benediction for adults and infants as a symbol of our mutual recognition of our baptism. May this continually bind us to work together for the greater glory of God. The document also includes the signatures of two Episcopalian bishops as witnesses since the IFI entered full communion with the Episcopal Church in 1961. And in 1980, the Philippine Episcopal Church had already affirmed in a signed agreement its mutual recognition of baptism with the Catholic Church. On the ensuing Sunday, August 15, a special day of devotion to Mary shared by both churches. All parish priests of the IFI and RCC communities are asked to include in their homilies the reading or synthesis of the two statements. Hopefully, this should bring down to the grassroots level a renewed spirit of reconciliation and ecumenism especially during this 500th anniversary of Christianity in the Philippines. Let us pray. Our Father God, in humility and unity, we come into your presence with a desire for oneness towards our common mission and witness. We thank you for the gift of faith Cleanse us, O God, and consecrate us with your Holy Spirit, that our affirmations will glorify your name, and our common actions will be an incarnation of your will. Through the same Christ we pray, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Ganap-alab ng iyong misyon 
limang daang taong biyaya. Salamat Panginoon sa iyong pula. Isong kaloob sa aming puso, aming sarili ay aming handog. Laging tapat at laging tukon, naririto handa kami. Panginoon, ang mga kaloob na aming alay sa mundo, katarungan, kabanalan, kapayapaan. Sa senyal na ito, maniwala ang mundo, pagmamahal namin sa bawat tao. Bang ang taong biyaya Salamat Salamat Panginoon Himang na ang taong biyaya Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punla Misyong kaloob sa amin So, aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tukon Naririto handa kami Panginoon Naririto handa kami Panginoon